Because it's about to go down. Do, 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 do. All right, people, you know about the hand of God, right? You know about the hand of God and the bet Fred refs of the time. I'm telling you, man, conspiracy. There's no way you don't see that. No way you don't see that. No way you don't see that. Anyway, let's get into this article. So this article here is Maradona, the hand of God explained. What is the hand of God and how did it happen? Diego Maradona is famous for performing the hand of God. But what is it and how did it happen? Express sport revisits the Argentina versus England in the 18 in the 18 uh, in the 1986 World Cup when I was three bless my cottons Argent, Argentine football legend Diego Maradona died at age 60 he helped his country win the World Cup in 1986 which includes the infamous hand of God incident what is the hand of God God, the hand of God refers to a goal Maradona scored during Argentina's match against England on the June the 22nd, 1986. Ah, it's two days after my mum's birthday. Bless her little cottons as well. Maradona jumped as if to head the ball, but instead he hit his, he hit, but instead it hit his hand and went past goalkeeper Peter Shaw to give Argentina a 1-0 lead. The referees missed the handball and there was no technology used in those days to overturn the decision. After the game, Maradona said he scored a little, he scored a little with his hand and a little with the hand of God. Taking a piss, brother. A little with the hand of God. Argentina won the game 2-1 to progress to the semi-finals of the World Cup. Maradona later admitted that the hand of God wouldn't have been given if video replays had been used back then. Really? What do you mean he admitted? There's, everyone knows it. If it could be seen again, hence why VAR, I feel like I'm the only person that I speak to that likes VAR. I like it. I want the right decision. So Even if it goes against me, it's the right decision. It hurts when it goes against me, but it's the right decision. You know what I'm saying? If someone's offside, they're offside. You know what I mean? But sometimes the fouls and all that, it's all just, it just depends on who's looking at it and who gets to say what, when, and how. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I think about it when, whenever I show my support for those, for the use of technology, he said in 2016. I thought about it and sure, that goal wouldn't have stood if technology had been around. I don't also admit to using his hand in another game. And I tell you something else. At the 1990 World Cup, I used my hand to clear the ball off the line against Soviet Union, he added. We were lucky because the ref didn't see it. God damn it, he just says things. You couldn't use technology back then, but it's a different story today. Earlier this year, Shilton revealed Maradona never apologized for the handball. It would have been it would have eased the pain for the England team, Shilton said. It's not just it's not just it's not just me. The whole England team suffered because he cheated. The apology wouldn't have meant nothing, bruv. It wouldn't have meant nothing. People are moaning about VAR these days, but it would have been brilliant for us in in that instant oh, exactly 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 he admitted to it in a roundabout way saying it was the hand of god but it didn't but he didn't apologize and show any remorse click play on the video to watch the iconic da -da 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 see that there it's a little bit of my head a little bit a little bit of my head a little bit of god's that is crazy the hand of god you know i always knew we always knew what it was called why it was called it was blatantly humble but the hand of God, some people were saying that because he called himself God. You know what I mean? But at the same time, at the same time, he this is this is what you really call a paradox. Is it a paradox? You could say a hypocrite, two-faced, both sides, whatever you want to say, is he did that, he cheated, and then he did that run. To show you, I don't need to cheat. I can bend all your whole team up by myself. I'll go from my own half and bend all your best English internationals. I'll bend you all up and then I'll roll it past your great keeper. Don't get nothing twisted. I did what I did because it was instinct right there, right then. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? It's kind of like the ordinary versus island. And just... Because you're there. Ah! You know what I'm saying? I'm not condoning it. Cheating is wrong. Let's get that clear straight off the map. Cheating is wrong. But hey ho, hey ho. Sometimes 
some people can level it out for some strange way, strange reason. And that second goal that he scored goes down as one of the best goals ever. One of the best individual goals ever. I know the brother who passed it to him still claims an assist because he passed it to the guy who scored, <laughs> even though he passed it to him in his own half. And then he went missing. You get me? Kind of like, um, again, Henri versus Liverpool or even Henri versus Tottenham. Get that ball, whoever passed it to the ball and he goes on that run, that's an assist. You get me? <laughs> that's an assist. But yeah, hand of God. See, if if there's any other reason to keep VAR, it's for that. Now, that alone. We cannot have that. And that's why you cannot have the man in the middle making the decisions like say he God and it doesn't and that's it. Nah, man, we've got to do better. We have to do better than that. You know what I'm saying? We have to. It doesn't make any sense to not try, in it. Why would you not try? Why would you not try? Why would you not try? It makes no sense. None at all. You know what I mean? But leave that in there. This could be a VAR, a VAR debate. You could make it a VAR debate. You want to get rid of VAR, or do you? Or would you? Would you moan if the hand of God happened again? I'll put it to you like that. So get rid of VAR. And let hand of God happen again, or keep VAR. I call it VAR, VAR. Am I wrong for calling it VAR? When I call it VAR, people don't know what I'm talking about until I say VAR. VAR, innit? VAR. God damn it. But um, yeah, leave your answers down below, people, because I'd like to know what you're talking about. All right, one more video reaction to do, and then it is done. We're done. We out of here. So. Yush, yes, this is the original Godfather 5 or jungle. It's another place. Yeah, run time, bar level thing. See, bar level on the lick. A bar level looking nice. Yeah, all right, one stop. I'm either. What's up, people? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.